Welcome to the new At Least Six Figures. Time to get your head out of your ass and get busy. Time to upgrade and stop doing that old played out nigga shit that doesn't work. Nigga, if you don't know by now Master Bob is the shiz neat, we fixin' to help your dumb ass, so sit tight, pay the fee, and get ready to get your wig pushed back. There are two states in this country of every state is two states. You have the state of Nevada and Nevada State. You have Cal State, California State, and state of California. Not the same thing at all. California State, according to the law, is one thing. State of California is totally different. It has nothing to do with each other at all. It's the difference between being a lawyer and an attorney. It has nothing to do with them at all. It's totally separate words, means totally separate things. Consequently, when you understand how words and terms are used and symbols are used, then we go back to the idea of the court. And as I said, there is no law in this country on any books that applies to you. None. All law in the Western civilization applies only to cooperations, co-ops. All law applies only to corporations, period. Across the board, no other, no, end of sentence. Consequently, there is no law that applies to you personally, so consequently, the system has made each one of you a corporation. And how, how now do you distinguish which one, uh, when someone's addressing you, that they're addressing you as the one that your mother gave birth to, or the corporate you? Very simple, according to British law, when you sign your name, upper and lower case, that is applying to your body. Your, your flesh and blood self is spelled, according to British and American law, upper and lower case, capital letter lower case. That's you, your personal self. There is no law that can be applied to an upper and lower case name, period. No law at all can be applied to an upper and lower case name because there is no law over you. Therefore, every piece of important bills, insurance, driver's license, identification, uh, taxes, I don't care what it is. If it's a piece of business, period, in any kind of way, shape, or form, your name must, by law, international maritime admiralty banking law, your name must appear in all capital letters. You will never get a bill or anything that has your name upper and lower case because there is no law that applies to an upper and lower case name, period. So if Sears is going to send you a bill, if you go into uh, Baskin Robbins or Sears and, and you order a pair of shoes, what are you going to do? They're going to give you a ticket and you're going to put it on your bill and then they're expecting you to pay the bill. And consequently, they're going to charge you. Well, that's the same thing. You go into a courtroom. They're going to read out the charges and the cop gave you the ticket, and you have been charged with a speeding or whatever, and therefore you have to pay the charge. Well, once you understand that in America... Welcome to the channel, welcome to the channel. Welcome family, it's Master Bob with at least six figures. Now, you gotta understand, whether you use your public or private credit, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what number you use, doesn't matter if you got randomized or you got them from Ubuntu. You know, you got it from ChatGPT. You got it from all these different places. Now, there is something called, of course, age appropriate, upper level numbers, but we can't talk about that on here. You know, we got to keep it basic. Now, no matter what you use, the number one thing that you have to master is your profile. Your profile has to be very, very streamlined, verbatim, and low risk. You understand? 
the more people that you can show that you can pay your bills on time, the better your chances are of obtaining new bills or new debt. So in order to make money in your mind of what they're not teaching you is you got to get into debt. You got to get more accounts. You got to owe more money. But which you, once you get that money, is, the question is not if you can get it when it comes to at least six figures. The question is what? What are you going to do with it? So as you drive about the city, as you roam around and figure out everything, you got to look at the first thing, your foundation, how you look. Are you a high risk? You mean is your energy high risk? If you were a bank or you were a car lot, car lot or any place who's going to, you know, a financial institution that's going to loan you some money, would you loan yourself some money? You got to understand that if you had a million dollars and somebody needed to borrow 10,000 and, and they presented the information that you have on your profile to you, would you loan yourself some money? So you got to understand that. Well, you probably wouldn't because you have an inside understanding. So today, a lot of banks have that same understanding. They're not giving out reluctant money. You got to put in a lot more work to be more trustable, just like with any person, especially an example with a mentor. A mentor is going to you know, coach you, give you information, help you get to the next level. But you have to also be an asset to the mentor. You understand? You can't be a liability. You can't be disrespectful. You can't be out of pocket and expect to get all this million dollar information, you know, from the gurus. Come on now. You know, this is what's missing in certain communities. We think we can be out of pocket and talk crap and still get to the top, still get, you know, to the to the upper echelons of sacred knowledge. It's not going to happen. So you got to understand a lot of information is right there in your face, too. But you're too busy complaining, running amok, running your mouth, acting a fool. You can't even see it. So, of course, I'm here to design to slow you down and get your understanding of what's important, how you look, manners, etiquette, respect level is very important. As I said, there's many, many, many different currencies out there. Of course, when you present yourself with a financial um, you know, asset, well, that, you know, gets your attention or that gets my attention, but don't get my attention and then drop the ball. You know what I mean? Don't get my attention and say, oh, I'm not ready. Don't use all your information to get attention and not be ready. You understand? So now what if, what does everybody want to know? how to make money, right? Everybody else all about the money, but you got to have many of the foundations in order to abstain and maintain money. You understand know that? Many, many of the foundations. So we as a community, we have a lot of growing up to do and we got to keep it 100. Somebody's got to keep it 100 with you. As I've been doing, you know, smack you from time to time. But hey, I still got your best interest at heart at the end of the day. You understand? But you got to pay that fee. You got to support you got to be an asset when you enter into this community. You understand? No parasites allowed. No vampires allowed. You understand? Now, money, 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 money. Today, a lot of people are trying to get what? Cash app, trying to people, you know, people are trying to get a lot of things, credit cards, authorized users, trade lines and stuff like that. The big hype is what? Oh, a rental trade line or a, uh, you know, Zombie debt, which everybody knows zombie debt doesn't exist. It's called non-performing debt. Let me educate you once again. It's non-performing debt. Now, the problem with all these trade lines that people are trying to sell and, you know, these, um, you know, what is it? You know, um, just, you know, there's many different accounts out there that people are trying to sell. The problem is the once the masses get a hold of these accounts and then they use it to get credit and don't pay the bill, they're just going to tear it back up. We haven't learned, you know, that's why certain people can't get into the club. Certain people can't get into here. You know, certain people are banned from there because it's the mind state. That's banned because you're going to turn wine into vinegar. You understand? You're going to bring the wrong energy, the wrong germs the wrong respect level into this sacred information and then you're going to spoil it. So that's why I've been teaching and honing in a lot of information on who you are and your mind state and how you see information because a lot of things are right there in your face. But if you can't see it, then what's the point? So, of course, 
We're called what? At least six figures community. And that's a state of mind. So we teach you what? The etiquette, the morals, the rules of the game, you know, respect your elders. Never outshine the master. Don't get you nowhere. You know what I mean? What you know is irrelevant. The question is, what are you going to do with what you know? And are you capable of taking that information, zipping your emotions and logically getting busy? And these are the things that I teach you because we can talk about all these other, you know, um, methods and sauces all day long. But if your mind ain't right, then you're just going to tear it up. You're going to be the liability to your success. And if you're a liability to your success, can you admit it so you can take an opportunity to possibly turn it around and become successful? Because the question is, it's not if you can get it or not. The question is, what are you going to do with it? A lot of you have been getting certain things, getting phones and the, the phone scams and all these things. And of course, as we talked about the video, everything I teach is for educational and inf informational purposes only. I don't commit or um, I don't suggest you commit any frauds and don't pay your bills and stuff like that. We teach you the correct ways. Make friends, pay your taxes, do what's best, master that. Right. So what are you going to master? You know, you got to be in a student role. Teacher, student, professor, student. You understand? Are you teachable? Can you learn something new, even if you think you know it all? No one knows at all. Even I don't know at all. I know a lot, but I don't know at all. But when it comes to corporate partnership and certain things and etiquette and getting into doors and getting things done the correct way and being a low risk. Well, that's why I'm Master Bob. So, again, this is Master Bob here with at least six figures. 949-543-0203. I'll get to you. I'll get to you. But your communication needs to be up on par mm -hmm. how you communicate when you present yourself as an asset to me with payment with understanding of certain things and also be an asset verbally doors open these six figures finances and food because they also go hand in hand so i would like to begin you, with a poem you know, in old-fashioned meter be good to us and we'll be good to you